Good morning, campers. This is Crusader Rabbit, KBNY 5962, starting our broadcasting day. And today, for your viewer enjoyment, bringing you the Fujika 35, Fujika 35EE. So, why don't we start with the top of the camera here. Uh, this is uh, your light meter right over here. And... Oh, you can see the needle. I'll cover up the actual, uh, on, the, on the front of the camera, there's the uh, selenium cell right here. Let's not take batteries. And if you uh, see, if I cover up the light meter, you can see the selenium cell react, which is pretty amazing since this camera was, uh, what's well, probably about 50 years old. So, just amazing that the selenium still, cell still works. Uh, Anyway, uh, I guess continuing from the uh, top of the camera, we have the light meter, we have the shutter release, we have, uh, there's a little knob here on the back that uh, adjusts the focus, you can see the uh, lens move in and out as I move the move the little knob and then also this dial it goes ahead and you can see I can put uh, the focus at infinity so that there it's like focused at infinity I can put like F16 the little F16 dot on infinity so that uh, everything between uh, this, this side of the dial is feet, this side of the dial is meters so everything between four feet and infinity uh, should be uh, in range so that's your depth of field if you want to do zone focusing. Uh, so we have a light meter, shutter release, uh, zone focusing, and the cold shoe that completes the top of the camera. Other things that are also normally on the top of the camera, uh, on the bottom of the camera, we have the frame advance and the shutter cocking mechanism. Mechanism, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, shutter cocking mechanism. And then also we have the uh, exposure counter right here. So that's the uh, bottom of the camera. Oh, and the uh, tripod mount. So uh, tripod mount, exposure counter, uh, frame advance, and the exposure counter. And the little button right here is your uh, uh, unlock. It disengages the uh, frame advance mechanism and allows you to rewind your film. And the, the rewind, is over here on the uh, side of the camera. Normally that's kind of on the top here, but right now it's on the uh, side here. And it's a little lever comes out and then you just go ahead and crank it around. Little 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 hand crank. Normally on the top, this one's on the side. And then on the side of the camera here there's like a little bar here you kind of pull it down and that releases the back of the camera so you can that's that's how you load your film and then it's not spring loaded so once you close it you have to push this back in and that closes it up and then also on the back uh, once again we have the focusing knob for the lens and the setting the uh, zone focus if you wanted to zone focus and then we have the shutter window. I don't, I don't know if we can see in the uh, shutter window here. You can see the uh, bright lines there. It's, it's a nice bright window. Can't really get any closer there. Uh, I don't see it. There, there's a couple problems with this camera. One is that there doesn't seem to be a, a rangefinder patch. 
it, it just seems to be absent. So I imagine the uh, range finder's knocked out a little bit. So I'm going to have to be sending this back. The other thing is that the aperture, uh, the the aperture dial to to set the aperture value moves, but the aperture doesn't actually seem to change. So I can open it up. You can. Uh, I don't know if you can see the, uh, maybe it's better to do it the other way. I can put the, uh, I can, uh, oh, uh, so let's, let's, let's finish going through the, the camera here. The uh, front of the camera, there's uh, your viewfinder window. There's like the bright line light intake. You have your little rangefinder patch. should get illuminated there. It doesn't seem to be working. And then the selenium there cell does seem to be working. And the lens is a uh, 4.5 centimeter uh, Fujinon f1.9 uh, to f22. But like I said, that doesn't seem to be working. So I can uh, the, the the actual this little, the, the, this actually sets. But it, it doesn't seem to actually change. It's kind of stuck on F16 or F22. You can also put it in automatic mode. Uh, when you do that, uh, supposedly all you have to do is set whatever uh, film speed you want, and then the camera will automatically select the aperture. So it's like shutter priority. Then you go ahead and click the picture. Uh, the other part with the aperture priority or the shutter priority is. Uh, when you depress, there's like a little, I don't know if you can see it. There's a little well, I guess you can't see it. There's like a little window, a little dot that, that appears in the rangefinder window down there. And then if you uh, depress the shutter button a little bit. If, there, if you don't have the proper exposure, a little red flag kind of covers the, the little dot. And it's on the uh, bottom bright line. But I don't seem to be able to uh, capture that on film for you, unfortunately. So anyway, this is the uh, shutter selection dial here. Uh, right here, you can set your, uh, you, can, you can read your shutter speed here. And then uh, it kind of uh, freewheels from uh, one one thousandth of a second down to uh, one thirtieth of a second. And then if you uh, depress, I think they call this like a release uncoupling button, you can press that and then it'll go all the way down to uh, uh, like one second or B. I don't know if you can see that, like B. And then. Know if uh, get the shutter out of the way here, you can see where the aperture is. Looks like it's like at f16, f22, and then I can take the aperture and I can open the aperture all the way up. And so I had it's set at f11, but if I take the aperture and move it to f1.9. And then do this again. You can see how the the aperture is is still at like f16 or f22. So you're able to set the aperture value, but the aperture itself does not does not move, unfortunately. So this camera shall be going back to the to the seller. I've already written him a, a note. Hopefully, I uh, get a nice resolution from that. It allows me to return it. Anyway, I'm not going to be running a roll of film through this since I'm not planning on keeping the camera. Although I guess technically, since it would be at f16, I could run around uh, 500th of a second f16, uh, 400 ASA film, and I could probably take a roll, and I'd imagine it would come out pretty nice. And I'd really love to do that, but since I'm not going to be keeping the camera, I'm not going to do that. So I think I've covered uh, most of the features. Let's see, if I left anything off? Uh, there's a setting on the side here. Uh, there's a uh, 
self timer function here and there's also a setting here for uh, flash and bulb settings uh, there's uh, ASA is set down here you uh, pull out this this little tab here and then you can move the uh, ASA setting to uh, there's a little dot there you just like put the little dot on whatever ASA you want and it goes anywhere from uh, like 200 down to uh, down to 10 so I think we're gonna call it can't think of anything else to uh, I'd, I'd really love to keep the camera uh, if it weren't for the the, the two issues both with uh, the rangefinder patch if I if I block off the rangefinder patch I don't see anything getting blocked off in the viewfinder window so either it's like so very very dim I can't even tell or maybe it's like you know knocked out of alignment uh, and then the app not being able to set the aperture is, is another uh, real killer I wouldn't mind the cameras otherwise is in gorgeous condition um, I, I really wouldn't mind to keep it as like a zone focusing camera even if the rangefinder patch rangefinder system didn't work but with the aperture not working also it's just too much of a disadvantage I think so I'm gonna be sending it back uh, I think we'll call an end to this video right here so thanks for tuning in Hope you enjoyed the show. This is Crusader Rabbit KBNY 5962 ending our broadcasting day. Ah, oh, good night, campers.